Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, this is just a quick little video. Not going to be a very long one. Um, brand new signing. is a signing, but it's not a signing. It's Cameron McGee, and as you can see by the title, he has extended his deal with the Reds for an extra two years, I do believe, till 2021, I think. Just the same as what Mowat did, as he was at our contract last season, and he signed it an extra two years, I do believe. If I'm wrong... Please correct me. So, so far, within this transfer window, we've signed Luke Thomas. We've extended deals of people such like McGean, as you can see by this video, which I'm going to carry on with in a minute. Mao has extended his deal recently. Jacob Brown has, and I think someone else has, but I'm not too sure. Yes, the young keeper. And a video that will be coming out. Later in the week, possibly the weekend, whenever the two deals get finalised about Lindsay and Adam Davis leaving, as they're both set to leave, we've both, I think we've accepted a deal for Lindsay, but then there's some sources saying we want him free meal, and another one saying that we've accepted a deal for Adam Davis to leave to Stoke City, which, if they want to go, let him go, we're going to we'll replace him and we'll move on. So yeah, McGee signed a new deal, which is great, he was a great asset to the team last season also there's meant to be a signing, signing announced later today so this might be the first of two videos today and then we've got the fixtures tomorrow and then a special video friday so quite a few videos coming out so if you are new subscribe and don't miss any of the content that's coming up also it's gonna be vlogs for every game of the season and a little bit of special something for the games i can't go to but you'll find out about that anyway so yeah mcgee a two-year deal he was in and out of the squad at the start of the last season, Kenny Dougal was the starting midfielder last year at centre mid. But then he did end up picking up an injury, which wasn't his broken leg. No, it wasn't his injury, actually. He went on an international duty with Australia, because he is an Aussie. He went on an Australian camp, and then he played McGeehan instead, because obviously McGeehan were our backup centre mid back then. And then Dougal came back, and it fluctuated between them two. And then Dougal did get an injury, I do believe, which gave McGeehan his chance to shine. He started off very slow, very sloppy, and took a few weeks to get back into a rhythm. And everyone complaining, saying that it was the McGeehan we saw last season. Which wasn't the best, as we obviously got relegated. So yeah, and then after that, he started picking up form. I remember one of his key games, Blackpool away, played immensely there. Scored the winner, beat him 1-0 with a header. I remember that game. Very, very full of it. And yeah, Dougal came back. Dougal got a game here and there, but McGeehan turned into the starting centre mid. And obviously Dougal got ended up injured at the end of the season because he ended up playing the game while McGeehan got injured, I think. Or McGeehan were on international duty. I can't remember. I think while McGeehan were injured, Dougal came in, the Dougal got injured, then McGeehan came back. But yeah, he did cement his place into that centre midfield with Alex Mowat, which is great for him. Also, with him signing this extension means no more, no more replacements. But we do need replacements for the players that have left and the two players that are about to leave. Which, like I say, that'll be a separate video for Lindsay and Davis. Hopefully we can keep them, but I don't see it happening. If they want to go, let them go. So, yeah, I'm happy that we've kept Cameron McGeehan. It would have been a shame to lose him. How he's going to fare in the championship against bigger, stronger Oppositions and players is it's going to be a test for him and Mount in the middle. It's going to be a test for every player. It's a step up. It's amazing that we've got promoted, but we need to see how we fare in the championship. I think we'll hold our own with there's a few key additions. The first one we've got is Luke Thomas. I also just remembered the other player that we signed on an extra contract was Barre and Woodrow. They were on loan and they got extended. But like I say, Thomas is our first, was our first signing and we've had these extra contract extensions. So yeah, one signing and then all people signing new contracts. So yeah, hopefully we can get a few more players in. We need a few more players. So if you have enjoyed this video, sorry it's short. Um, like I say, fixtures tomorrow. Hopefully he's signing tomorrow. And a special video Friday. So don't miss the Friday video. And don't miss any video. So subscribe, put notifications on. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video which is either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for watching.